Good morning, everyone, and welcome to lesson two in your independent novel, uh, The Things They Carried. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to answer the question, is the narrator in a memoir reliable or not? So uh, for this one, you will get started here and make sure to click next to go through and it go into the direct instruction. The first thing you're going to look at is a point of view graphic uh, organizer. You'll need to download that and have that available. Then uh, you will watch a video about point of view and taking notes on your graphic organizer. After that you do have a reading assignment. Um, if you don't still have the book, the PDFs are available. However, if you have the book, here are the pages. The collaborative learning of this lesson. Uh, you do have one that says believable or not, thinking about the narrator itself. After that, you have the um, something about alienation, talking about um, you know those two stories that you read, and again thinking about those um, before you post in the discussion. On to the independent activities, uh, you have your vocabulary practice like usual. After that, uh, you have a note-taking graphic organizer. You're still continuing on with the web quest. This time, though, you're focusing on the uh, other side of war research, anti-war. And again, you have the links for the graphic organizer there. Uh, you're going to go into the anti-war tasks and stuff into the web quest. And you do that by clicking here. And then this little arrow here will take you outside. You go click, and it takes you into um, the web quest, if it will load. Um, it's taking a little bit, but it, it'll load. Uh, if it doesn't, let me know. After that, uh, you are doing those web quest assignments, and here you have an overview of what you should be uploading to this particular assignment. One task from the anti, a second task from the anti, and then the graphic organizer that I just showed you. It's not the graphic organizer from the direct instruction. That goes in your journal. Um, one thing that you do have to do in this one is the next step of your capstone, thinking it through. You're actually going to create a proposal letter for your capstone project. So you'll need to go back to the graphic organizer that you completed in Unit 1 and follow the um, directions here. And you do have um, links to the file that you can um, submit then. If you have any questions, obviously um, come in uh, during fourth block or email me and let me know what the issues are. And then moving on to your journal, it does say upload the digital um, graphic organizer on point of view right here. That goes there and then you have two prompts. Um, make sure that you uh, answer both of them and what's really nice is if you actually copy the prompt and then answer it. Um, that makes it a little more clear to your instructor. And last but not least, you'll have a very short lesson quiz. As always, if you have any questions, please stop by or email me and I will get back to you. Have a great day.